Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to a special social media thing I'm calling Answers with Aaron, where I attempt to answer some of the questions that you all have sent in for the Bible series. So I got one right here from uh, Dave. Here's the question. There are 67 versions of the Bible on my phone right now. I mean, really. Are there versions that you would recommend or avoid? This is great, great question. What's up with all the translations of the Bible? Well, let's start with this. Keep in mind that the Bible was not written in English. I mean, the Old Testament was written in uh, Hebrew and uh, much of the New Testament in Greek. So any English version of the Bible that we have is actually a translation. Now, a natural question is, how do you know you can trust these translations? Well, let me give you as a case study how the NIV, that is the New International Version, how it came to be. 100, yes, 100 of the best scholars in the world collaborated on this project over a period of 10 years. So this was not just some guy slapping together what he thought the Bible says into English. This was a huge professional project with some of the best minds in the world. So I think you can trust your English translations. Now, why are there so many different English, tra English translations? Well, the reason is that different translations are used for different purposes. For example, uh, the English Standard Version, that is the ESV, this is like uh, for deep study of the scriptures. So words will be translated one by one kind of thing, and idioms will just be pulled straight in, into the English translation. So it's a little harder to understand, but if you're trying to study the Bible, it's great. Then you have on the other end of the spectrum, something like the New Living Translation, which is translated to make it very readable for us in English. So some translations are for deep study, some are for more uh, light reading and understandability. Another reason why we have so many translations is because the English language evolves over time. So back in 1611, the most accurate English translation, translation of the Bible that you could get was called the King James, and it was fantastic. But if you read it today, you're not gonna understand hardly any of it because it was written in 1611. So another reason we have so many translations is they keep getting updated as the English language evolves. So what translation should you be reading? Depends on what you're doing. I'll tell you my three favorites. If I'm just reading, just to understand, maybe a devotional reading in the morning, I might use something like the New Living Translation, the, NI, the NLT. If I'm studying the Bible, uh, preparing for a sermon or something, I might use the ESV, the English Standard Version. And then for something in the middle, something that kind of balances both perspectives, the NIV, which is what we use in all of our services at Ada Bible Church. So there's a little bit about translations of the Bible and what might be best for what you're doing. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.